Al Maghrib seminar? No, it isn't. How many have you been to? Uh, this is my third. Your third. And which one has been your favorite? Uh, I would have to say a heart serene. What are your expectations for the weekend? Uh, to get new knowledge. I'm curious by nature, so I'm just looking for knowledge. Uh, since this isn't your first Al Maghrib seminar, uh, what do, what is the best thing about Al Maghrib? Basically, providing the, the the means to get the knowledge without having to leave and travel. Because I've been following Al Maghrib for quite some time, and I was over the moon happy when when it started here in Sweden. <laughs> أحب الله عن أدب وصدق ولا أرضى سوى التقوى خلاقي إذا ما عشت لا أنسى إلهي به أسمو من الأخرى المراقي So, brother, uh, brother Salman, well, welcome to Stockholm. Uh, is it your first Al Maghrib course? Uh, this, this is my very first Maghrib course, uh, and I'm, I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Yes, it's it's been it's been very informative. I've learned a lot of new things, uh, and this uh, this is my first time in Stockholm as well. And atten attending this Al Maghrib course, I think it has taught me a lot of new things which I did not know before. What was your expectation in the beginning, and did uh, has the expectation met so far? Yeah. Uh, yes, the, the, the expectation was, was of course to, to learn more about uh, the, the end of time, so to speak, but then uh, there was a lot of misconceptions I had, but then that they were quite clarified uh, and I was able to ask the questions uh, to the Sheikh and he was very approachable. Uh, I was able to ask direct questions and get uh, very direct and clear answers on them. Well, what about any future courses? Will you come back to Al Maghrib again? Uh, we've just, uh, I'm from Muslim Aid headquarters and then we've just established Muslim Aid Sweden uh, and I would be coming back and forth to, to Stockholm in the next few, few years as well, a few months uh, and whenever there's an Al Maghrib course I would definitely attend. So is this your first Al Maghrib seminar? It is, yes. Yes. And what are your expectations for the weekend? Um, to get to know how you do Al Maghrib here in Sweden and to gain some knowledge, inshallah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the same. So inshallah, learn from you guys and to see how you are doing it and to learn from the Sheikh, inshallah. Basically just to copy all you're doing and doing it, do it in Denmark as well. Yeah, because you guys are from Denmark and you're planning to open Al Maghrib there. So what are your thoughts about that? We're very excited, um, especially after being to an Al Maghrib seminar. We know some of the, um, what is called, the educators from Al Maghrib. The shiurs. <laughs> shiurs. Um, but we haven't been to an actual seminar, so it's very exciting. Uh, what's the best thing about Al Maghrib so far? It is basically to be in, in the presence of all these students who are eager to get knowledge and to get the knowledge from the Sheikh, who, mashallah, really has been ins inspiring to us, alhamdulillah. I agree, and also to see your sisterhood and how you are working together and um, how very welcoming you have, you, you have been against us uh, coming from Denmark. It's been a really nice experience.
So, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So, how are you, brother? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Okay, alhamdulillah, I'm fine too. So, uh, was this your first Al Maghrib course? Yeah. Uh, yes, no, this was my second one. Yeah, the first one was with uh, Kamal al Mekki. How was your uh, experience this week? Yeah. Uh, alhamdulillah, it was very good. Uh, the expectations were over uh, what I was uh, okay. thinking about the course, and okay. alhamdulillah, the Sheikh is. Uh, the topic is very interesting as well. One message that you take from this course so far? There are uh, lots of messages, <laughs> uh, but I can like think one of them is like when the 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 slave girl uh, give birth to her master, and that's what's happening right now. And we have to prepare for uh, the judgment day. Okay. Yeah. So, are you gonna come for the next course? Of course, I will, inshallah. Okay. If if I still live and and am I healthy and everything. Yeah. There are many reasons for you to come to an Al Maghrib course. Uh, the, the courses are very well structured and organized, and this is my third course. The instructor has a has a PowerPoint, and you get a course book and a wristband, and you really feel like you are part of Al Maghrib. And there really, it really is. The instructors are really making sure that everyone was listening to them. A lot of instructors and seminar and people today and Islamic scholars, they, they don't they don't connect with the youth that easily. It takes it takes a lot of um, it takes a lot of knowledge outside Islam as well. And yeah I really love that about Al Maghrib. The one thing about Sheikh Asan is that he has he, he talks a lot about, uh, you know, he's mentioned a lot of stories in the hadiths and, and he really likes, he, he takes those things and talks about something that will happen to us today or something that we can connect to and he make you really understand Islam on another level and I really love how you can keep up with him in the book and he really like uh, if after one hour he asks you questions and I like the, he, he, the way he talks and speaks makes you makes you really feel like you were living at the time of the, the Prophet. So why shouldn't you come to Al Maghrib? Well that's a hard question. Why shouldn't you come to Al Maghrib? It's a great place to learn about Islam and about your own religion. It's a place where you think you know something but it, you don't really know about your own religion. Islam is a vast knowledge about everything and everything you can't imagine and can't imagine. So I recommend you come to Al Maghrib if you want to know uh, more about religion all around us. It's amazing. You get to know about more or less about the science to your to the hour, to the last day. It ends up being some stuff that you even didn't realize it's a part of your environment. Rasulullah emphasizes that connected with your kinship is really important and you would realize why. So if you want to know more about it, come to Allah Rana's when it's available at your place.